Welcome to part nine of the Fractal for Beginners series. In this episode, we are gonna take a look at the performance pages that are in the Fractal Modeler. Now, if you're a gigging musician and you haven't heard of the performance pages, be prepared to do the happy dance. Now, the topics covered in this video do work on all three modelers, but I'm gonna be using the FM9 for this one. You look at the FM9 and just marvel in its beauty. Am I right? And all that crazy power under the hood. Pretty much all you have to do is plug in an expression pedal, connect XLR cables from the back of the FM9 to your sound system, plug in your guitar and boom, you're pretty much done. Have your sound person put your signal in your monitor and you are ready to rock. No more lugging heavy tube amps and speaker cabs, not to mention pedal boards. But there is something missing, at least for old school guys like me. We used to be able to turn around to our amps and adjust the various front panel controls, Plus we could kneel down and adjust our pedal settings. Now it's not impossible on the Fracta modelers, but it is cumbersome. You have to press the layout button. Then you have to navigate to the block that needs changing. Then you have to press the edit button. Then you have to page over to the page you actually want to edit. And now I can actually change the drive on the drive pedal, which is what I wanted to do. And then you'd have to repeat that process with any other blocks or parameters that need updating. So it is possible, but do you want to mess with all that foolishness during a gig? Of course not. You want to twist a knob or two and then rock out, right? Enough with all this menu diving. Well, that's where performance pages come in. Our fractal modelers have two performance pages, the global performance control page and the per preset control page. Okay, now don't get all weirded out because we're talking about pages on your modeler, okay? You'll be fine, trust me. What if I told you that you can set up the five A, B, C, D, E knobs to mimic app controls for every preset. Well, sure, but is that all there is? Five knobs? What if I told you that by pushing a button, you could double the functions of the A, B, C, D, E knobs, giving you 10 knobs for every preset? Hey, now we're getting somewhere. But, uh, is there more? All right. What if I told you that in addition to the 10 knobs for every preset on your system, you can also have an extra 10 knobs on a per preset level in every preset. Now are you interested? You should be. The global performance control page is already set up in the FM9 and FM3. The factory default settings use basic amp controls. Bass, Mid, Treble, Depth, Presence, Drive, Master, and Level. Now many of the factory presets have a per preset control page set up using up to 10 knobs. Getting to these pages from the front panel is easy. You'd press Home, then press the Page Right button twice to get to the Global. These pages stay parked on the screen until you manually change to another page. So you can change presets or scenes and still have your custom performance control options ready to use. Now you just use the A, B, C, D, and E knobs to control the functions. Then you'd use the nav up and nav down buttons to change which row of functions you want to use. Use the page left and page right buttons to switch between global and per preset. If you're happy with the factory defaults, then you're good to go. Stick around though if you want to see how to set the functions that you want on your front panel. You will have to use the editor though, whether that's Axe Edit 3, FM9 Edit, or FM3 Edit. It's a simple process, but if this is giving you anxiety, take a break and do something else for a while, then come back when you're ready to give it a try. All right, the next part is directly from the manual. In this case, the FM9 manual. Performance controls must be set up using FM9 Edit, the companion editor slash librarian software for the FM9. The following tutorial includes multiple examples. One, first let's edit the global performance page. To display it, tap Home, then tap Page Right twice. Notice the factory default setting placed the basic knobs of the amp blocks here. Bass, Mid, Treble, Presence, Depth, Drive, Master Volume, Level. There are also two empty spots. We'll fill one of them here with the Delay Mix Control so you can quickly adjust delay levels when you play. Two, connect your FM9 over USB to a compatible Mac or Windows computer and launch FM9 Edit. Remember, you will need a driver if you're running Windows. Okay, so let's switch over to FM9 Edit. 
Three, in FM9 Edit, load factory preset 001 or any preset that contains the delay one block. Well, let's go with preset 001. Four, once this preset loads, click on the delay block to select it on the grid. Five, switch to the performance page editor in FM9 Edit by clicking the perform button above the grid. Drag and drop the mix parameter of the delay block to an empty slot in the global performance controls area. You can exit the Perform Page Editor now by clicking again on the Perform button above the grid. Note, since we've only changed a global performance control, there is no need to store anything. In comparison, when you edit the Per Preset Performance page, you must save the preset to commit changes. 8. Let's add Reverb Mix to the remaining empty slot on the Perform Global page. We must first change to the Reverb block to drag and drop from its Edit menu. Now we go to Perform. And we add Reverb Mix right here. You can also use drag and drop to rearrange controls on performance pages. Drag one control onto another to swap them. Try this out on the Reverb Mix and Delay controls. Decide how you like this and then move on. To remove a control, click it and then press the Delete Backspace key on your keyboard. You can change the two-line label for any control by double-clicking on the existing name. Type your desired text and then press Enter Return on your keyboard to confirm. Test this by changing the first line of the delay control to Delay instead of DLY1. Fractal says that we've reached the end of this tutorial. Now go test your changes. Performance pages can make life a lot easier for you, especially if you're a gigging musician. No more having to dive through a half a dozen menus just to make a simple adjustment. Now just in case you haven't heard, we hit over 2,000 subscribers a couple weeks ago. And what I'm doing is having a subscriber giveaway contest. What I'm asking you guys to do is just send in your suggestions for topics that you'd like me to cover over the next year. Now I will take your name and I will put it into a hat. On March 8th, I will have my wife pick a name out of the hat, and if you live in the lower 48 states, you are the winner of a Rimrock Effects Mythical Overdrive. Yeah! It's that simple. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.